Hello there. Woo! Welcome back to the channels, ladies and gents. It's your boy Ellie Mose, your 22-year-old law film student here from Senior Shogo shooting his shot, baby. Now I'm not gonna waste no time with this intro. This is Kenobi Part 3. You're here to watch my reaction. You're here for the reaction to Kenobi, so I'm not gonna waste no more time with the intro. Let's get into it. Episode 3 is due to drop in a matter of minutes. Let's go. Now, right before we get into the episode, ladies and gents, I just have one quick message to those sending racist comments to Moses Ingram. Here we go. Part 3 is out, ladies and gentlemen. 47 minutes. Let's go. Now, while the recap is happening, I'd just like to say, I think I overreacted to the Inquisitor's death uh, last week because I straight away thought to Rebels, and I'm just like, Star Wars Theory explained after that his species does have two stomachs, so he's probably going to be in a factor tank. But I don't like that bait and switch. I don't like that fake out with the deaths constantly. And then, oh, they'll be fine with the back to tank. I just don't like that. You could have kept the Grand Inquisitor prominent and have that beef with um, Reva continuously going on. But we'll see. We'll see. If you want my quick opinion on the first two episodes, if you're not bothered going back, I thought they were okay. They had some fantastic bits. Um, I really, I thought the first episode was neat. Um, I like the second episode portraying Kenobi as weak in the Force because he hasn't used it for 10 years and Rusty especially while he's struggling to pull up Leia. Um, and then, obviously, the cutaway shot at the end was fantastic. Tamora Morrison being in it as a clone trooper was awesome as well. Felt so sad because if you watch the Clone Wars and been with them throughout that journey as well, it's just sad even more. <laughs> there we go again, Kenobi calling out for Qui-Gon. It makes you think, he's basically been calling out for Qui-Gon for the last 10 years. Pra basically, yeah? Because... If this is set 10 years after Revenge of the Sith, and he found out from Yoda that um, he's been able to connect with someone beyond the Force, that means he's been trying for about 10 years, unless he only started recently. <laughs> nice, nice. I like the quotes cutting with the suiting up of Vader. Ewan McGregor doesn't even need to say anything and he just conveys so much emotion. It's fantastic. Badass. <laughs> And we have our thumbnail. Yay! He's coming back. That's awesome. You have programmed tracking all possible enemies. Oh, so he knows straight away. We will pay for the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor means nothing. <laughs> straight this. Is all that matters now. Is that understood? Yes, my lord. That's interesting. Now Vader knows off the bat that Kenobi is alive. It makes me think as well, I guess how it is going to end because you gotta think that vader probably thinks he's gonna think kenobi's dead at the end of this in my opinion obviously he says in the new hope i've sensed a presence i have not sensed in a long time so maybe he's gonna think he's done with kenobi at the end of the show and he's killed him off but kenobi fakes it out somehow that's what i think will happen fail me and you will not live Judging off the comics, Vader does love, love to dish out punishment on the Inquisitors, so <laughs> he won't hesitate to kill Reva if he has to. Great to see more of Vader's castle as well. I actually like um, the young Leia actress in this. I think writing her as like sort of witty, smart, and a bit, you know, um, cheeky is... is is what Leia would be at that uh, young age. I mean, the chase sequence was comical, but like, who cares about, like, no, I really care about that because that was really bad. It could have been done so much better. Like, just use a stun blaster, but the actor, uh, the actress herself is really good and I think she's written well. Yo, he laid down the law with that people and not all good. He just said it. He said it with. <laughs> fields and family. Is that Master Quark? Oh! That's Hayden Christensen! 
Yo. Can I be gonna be getting them false visions now? Clever use of the long shot there to showcase um, Hayden Christensen. So you don't have to have the close up to the ages face back to Revenge of the Sith days. <laughs> I hope we get more flashbacks to the Attack of the Jedi Temple like we did in the first episode. I just love seeing that era of, of Star Wars. I just love seeing that situation and seeing more perspectives of it. It's awesome. One of the mining systems. Send out the probes. Do it now. I forgot, I forgot where the Inquisitor headquarters is, but I remember... Oh, I can't remember if you fought in it in Jedi Fallen Order, but like... The background kind of reminds me of like the with the ocean in the background as well, and then you fight. I think this you fight that you fight Darth Vader at the end, and then it all collapses on you. Kind of reminds me of that with the ocean, like the sea creatures in the background. Hi, I'm Luna. This is my son, my father. This is my father, Ordin. We're farmers from Tall. Hey there, I'm Freck. <laughs> hey there, I'm Freck. Like, two seconds ago, he's like telling Leia, you don't talk. First thing, she takes charge. We're like, yo, there's my father. I'm Luma. <laughs> Hello. Come on, father. We've walked long enough. Thanks, Dad. My pleasure. Hop in. <laughs> he's, who, he sounds like a cartoon. I can't put a name to it, but he does. All the voice actor sounds familiar. Oh, that's Imperial, my man. My guy, Freck, rocking that with pride. Now, where did you say you're from again? You know who he sounds like? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> That's who he sounds like. Oh. <laughs> We're going to get stormtroopers on this ride. Let's see if the message that Obi-Wan's a bounty or, like, is alive that's gotten out throughout the universe. If it has gotten out throughout the universe and if these stormtroopers recognize him. Oh, there we go. Out here? Hope we're not in any danger. Ah, uh, no, we'll find them. We always do. Surely they would have got on a hologram of what he looks like. Are you sure he's in the Venus planet? They know what they're doing, Leia. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, he slipped up. Kenobi slipped up. Hey, we got a smart stormtrooper. That was her mother's name. I get confused. Like I said, it's not been easy. Sometimes when I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. Did he save it? Hey, he's probably thinking about Padme as well. They got lucky on that one. It was just a story. The whole time I've known you, you've been hiding something. Do we have a little bit of force sensitive Leia here using her powers or senses? Are you my real father? That's up. <laughs> I wish I could say I was. But no, I'm not. You are not the father. <laughs> Hey, if Freck gets him through this, shut up, Freck. Even if he supports the Empire. Mutual respect. <laughs> a couple of strange ones. But you might want to check them out. Ah, oh, Freck, you flop. I love how there's like a whole, like wasteland and it's just this like little barrier in the middle <laughs> it's just like 10 meters <laughs> oh surely the probe droids will pick him up now as well oh yeah that's caught in 4k oh no he's sort of got his head down still 
Yeah, now that's 4K. <laughs> that's cool in 4K. Walk around the hill. Oh, we got a mole in the empire. Come on. <laughs> I like that shot, the fifth brother and the um, Reaver with the vacant Grand Inquisitor seat. <laughs> it makes you think is the Grand Inquisitor very, like, is he actually dead? They haven't mentioned him. Like, they mentioned, like, She's like, the Grand Inquisitor is... And then Vader said, he's not a problem anymore. I can't remember what he said, but... Oh, so she was meant to be the original individual. Oh! I wonder who else. That actress looks familiar. I've seen her before in, like, tons of stuff, but... I recognize her from the show Rome. Do you guys remember the show Rome? Yes, he helped me with that. Smuggling younglings. You know when the eyes are closed? Too many trees to eat. There has to be a Jedi saying. The way. This is the way. <laughs> now I have a piece of cake. I just have to... I, I wonder who he said. I just have to rewind it. Quinlan was here. Oh, Quinlan Voss! Nice! Oh, he's still alive! He else now and again. That's mad. I remember their journey in the Clone Wars to hunt down um, Zero the Hut and Cad Bane got involved. Seen anyone? Hey! I'm talking to you. We've got Bumblebee the droid over here. <laughs> Can't say a thing. Like he doesn't have a radio to talk to. Uh oh. What is it? Force vision? Oh, he sensed the Inquisitors. Oh, and the big boy. The big boy is here too. That's four of them as well. Damn. It's a four on one. They all rocked up to the party. Everyone's dressed up. I love how it just got to night time as well as he rocked up. You gotta love how everyone's hiding in their houses as well. Like, no, yeah. The, my man is just like... Just all he needs to do is just breathe and everyone's scared. <laughs> the gravitas of Darth Vader. We might get our first confrontation with Obi-Wan and Vader in episode 3. Now, was that necessary? Yo, eh, yo, he, anyone can get it. Broken neck, you gotta love it. Darth Vader being Darth Vader, this is a no shits given Darth Vader. Take him away. Yo, Obi-Wan about to get his ass whooped. We saw he struggled to hold up a layer. He ain't gonna contend with this man. <laughs> this man mounted. <laughs> This is like Rogue One vibes here. Man, he's just dragging a woman along the floor and doesn't give a crap. <laughs> Everyone just walking, chilling. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you can even see how hesitant Obi-Wan was to draw that lightsaber. You can tell he knows he's not ready. Dude, just the emotions on his face, he's so hesitant. I might have changed my thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> I think the transport ship is going to come pick up Obi-Wan to save him. Oh, I love how he emerged from the darkness there with the lighting on just his respirator system. I am what you made me. <laughs> oh! 
That was that was unexpected. <laughs> Beta swinging with intent. <laughs> Vader's like, this is for the high ground. This is for my legs. This is for sin. This is my arm. <laughs> he just, he wants to kill him. <laughs> I don't know what to put my thumbnail now. I think the environment they're fighting in is is just like looks really well with the lighting of their lightsabers and the clashing. I don't know why, it just does. It feels so weird seeing them fight after Mustafa and not a new hope if that makes sense. But I'm enjoying it, but it just feels weird in my opinion. I don't know if you guys get that same feeling. I was about to say I don't think Vader has even tried yet. I was like I was waiting for him to use more of his force arsenal, and there we go with the force choke. Oh, not even force stroke. No, no. Oh, oh, okay. Now you will suffer, Obi Wan. He wants to do the Mustafa to Obi Wan. Oh, this is poetic justice. Yo, Vader's like, who has the high ground now? Oh, let's go. Bumblebee about to save everyone, Kenobi. Yo, I'm pretty sure Vader can just force, like, pull that fire away or hold it away. Or, like, rush it to the side. How are you letting Obi-Wan get away like that? I don't know what to think about that because it was just that one little droid and the, the woman sniping from up top. So I'm pretty sure they could have dealt with her. I'm just saying, Vader could have like force jumped or levitated over the fire. Oh. <laughs> you know what, Moses Ingram? Oh, is that how we're gonna end it? Oh, okay. Moses Ingram was much better in that episode than the first two episodes. I think just her mannerisms, line delivery, even though she had a little, like little to say, it was much better and she was much more intimidating in this episode. So hats off to Moses Ingram for that episode. But I don't know what to think about the Vader Obi Wan fight. Like it was good seeing it again. I think the lighting, cinematography was fantastic surrounding it, but I do think it was a bit sloppy in its execution, in my opinion. I think Vader could have done, like gone into way beast mode to like get rid of that one girl and to get rid of, um the the droid in front of him like he could have just annihilated them if he wanted to so i don't know if he's just toying with obi-wan and wants to fight him again and relish that moment of burning him um like with the poetic justice but i don't know what to think i felt vader acted a bit sloppy i think like finally seeing his master that did that to him 10 years ago i think he'd be enraged and he'd want to like freaking annihilate him and do everything to kill him but he was just toying with him at first and obviously wanted to put him through the pain barrier he suffered through. But in fact of like just letting that little bumblebee droid and the lady up top get in the way, I don't think Beta would allow that. Anyway, let me guys, let me know what you guys think about that episode. It sort of ended on a cliffhanger. They're still stuck on that planet. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Reva does with Leia. Is she going to bring her to Beta? And then we'll see what happens there because I think he'd obviously sense that's his daughter if he's up front and personal with her or is Reva gonna take her away it's gonna be interesting to see what happens lots of questions hopefully episode four will solve that anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed like the Quinlan Voss easter egg as always it's been your boy Moses take care god bless peace